Hello and welcome to LT's Garage. Today I'm going to show you what I did with these cute baskets from Ikea. They nest, which I really like, makes it easier to store. I'm using this orange dye that I had left over from another project and I'm dyeing these in a bucket. Um, because they're natural fibers, they floated so I had to weight them down. But also, um, because they're natural, they took to the dye really well. Um, as you can see, they're a great orange color. I'm using some um, of these berry stems and vines, leafy vines from Dollar Tree. Uh, this leafy vine also has some berries on it that I'm going to also use later. Also has this funky little gourd, which I will not be using later. So these vines are great, except they're very sparse. And so, and also I don't really like the plasticky vine. So I'm going to use this natural grapevine. You can get it in these rolls at most craft stores. I am going to make some small wreaths out of it just I for my baskets to nest in. So I'm going to make one, three different sizes so that the baskets will just nest in these wreaths. And then I will embellish them with those leaves and berries that I got from Dollar Tree. So here's my first wreath done, measuring to get this next smaller one. Just using the wire that came on the grapevine to wire these wreaths together. There's two little nesting wreaths done. Now I'm going to make the wreath for the bottom basket to nest in. Again, just cutting and wiring these together. Pretty, pretty easy to do, actually. So after I get these all the size I want and wired together, I'm going to take all these leaves off the plastic vines and start gluing them to my grapevines. Of course my battery died as I was doing this and I didn't realize it so you don't get to watch me tediously work away at gluing all these leaves onto these vines. But here is my finished um, wreath. So again I made three of these, all different sizes for my baskets to nest in. I think they turned out pretty cute with the leaves just glued all the way around the grapevine and then the little berries embellishments added. I'm also going to add um, a stem to the top one. It has a little hole in it already. So I'm going to use a washer and a screw and just um, screw on this little piece of um, a branch that I cut with just a pair of uh, garden shears. So we have these trees in our backyard that just shed branches. I don't know why, but I'm also going to use a piece of this fiber covered wire um, my wire cutters work well to cut the wire, but I have to use scissors to cut through those fibers. But anyway, just to add a little uh, curly vine here to the top of my my top lid. And added a leaf, and I'm going to add some more of these, these little berries that I used on the rest of the project. Just, kinds of, just kind of ties everything together. So glue that on and I have my my little top topper to my basket. Kind of gives them a, a pumpkin feel. So here are my stacking pumpkin baskets. I 
tried them on a, in a couple of different urns on my front porch. Haven't really decided exactly how I want them to look for sure, but I sure do like them. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you'll give me a thumbs up and that you'll share it with someone else who might like it. See you soon.